please subscribe to Super Saddler's Set. Right then guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm giving my thoughts on today's news. Uh, big news today that Dow Clark has left the club due to mutual consent and joined rivals and League Two side Port Vale as a um, compensation package was agreed between the two clubs. Before we get into this video, if you're going to enjoy it, please leave it a like. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. So, Walsall put out a statement about 4 o'clock ish um, that Dow Clark had left the club due to mutual consent um, as a package was a compensation package was agreed between the two clubs. Um, Walsall we'll put they'd like to wish Dow Clark all the best in the future. And also, big news coming out in that um, statement saying Brian Dutton will be manager until the end of the season, taking charge. Also, Matt Sadler and goalkeeper coach Mike Taylor will also help him out in the job until the end of the season. Absolutely massive news. I'm really shocked with this news. Um, I don't know what to think about it. I was all um, back in Dow Clark um, until the end of the season. I, I think the ambition was to get promoted. We don't know what's gone beyond, um, what's happened behind the scenes. Lee Pomlet is announcing something tomorrow, so we'll have to look out for that. My opinion that I thought it's a bit 50-50. Um, I'm a bit disappointed um, that he's gone to Port Vale, um, local rivals, and also a League Two side. Um, there was reports when he left there was rumours that he was set to leave before he got on the notes. Um there was rumours that he was going back to Bristol Rovers as they have just recently um, sacked Tisdale and also um, there's rumours that he was going to go to Northampton Town um, another League 2 side as Keith Curl's just been sat there too so yeah very surprised that he's gone to Port Vale local rivals I don't think that's going to go well with the Warsaw fans. Not much um, loyalty in football nowadays. I think this just shows that there's no loyalty, like I said. If he wants to go to Port Vale, he'll go. Um, no, no one's stopping him at the end of the day. There must have been something happened between Chairman Lee Pomlet and Darryl Clark. Like I said, we don't know what's happened. It could have been from the two sales of Elijah Adebayo and Zach Jules. Or like I said, he just wanted to move club and join um, rivals at Port Vale. I know Walsall have announced that Brian Dutton will be manager until the end of the season, but I really wouldn't be surprised if he followed him to the Vale. I think players like James Clark could go there too, as he likes him um, very much as he was there at Bristol Rovers and he brought him to Walsall, so I really wouldn't be surprised if he went too. If Brian Dutton is manager until the end of the season, I think we will appoint a new manager um, anyway. I'd like to see a young manager though, like Miguel Leira, who is manager of the youth team. I wouldn't mind seeing him, uh, maybe a manager that actually cares for the club. Also another name, maybe Matt Sadler. He also looks like he wants to go into coaching after his footballing career. So I wouldn't mind him as manager going into the future. But what to think of Dow Clark as Walsall manager? I think pretty average to be honest. Um, I thought he'd do a lot better. He, he had a very good record with Bristol Rovers. Game promotion back to back from the National League to League 2 then League 2 to League 1 so I was expecting a lot better but personally I didn't think he got the players that he wanted at Walsall which might have um, showed that he couldn't get the results at Walsall but we'll just have to see going into the future I thought at times his football was a bit negative too I'd like to see him a bit more passing play but we are in League 2 and I know the standards are not going to be like the Premier League but um. We, I don't think we really recovered getting a decent manager since Dean Smith. He was absolutely brilliant for us. Um, we've had managers like John Whitney, Dean Keats, um, Sean O'Driscoll. They've never really succeeded. And I think we can add Darryl Clark to one of them. But like, I would really like to wish Darryl Clark all the best in the future though. But now we've got to trust in Brian Dutton until the end of the season if he stays. I'd like to see what Brian Dutton's style of play is though. Is he going to be... a a, t a manager I mean that's going to get the result or is he going to try and play nice football I think he might give some of the young players a go though that's the thing Daryl Clark never really did he only really gave Alfie Bates a chance at the Saddlers I'd like to see players like Sam Perry, Tom League, Joe Willis given a chance now I think they really deserve a crack at the starting 11 first game will be tomorrow night against High Fly in Cheltenham Town we'll have to see what team he'll start I think it'll be quite similar though as Probably him and Dal Clark had similar ideas as they did work, a, work with each other. 
but I'm very, very confused with this. Very shocked he's joined Port Vale. But like I said, I wish him all the best in the future. And yeah, we'll have to see how he gets on his career now. But the next appointment's going to be massive for our club. I guess Daryl Clark leaving, um, you get a bit of money off him. Obviously, a compensation package was agreed. So yeah, like I said, um, the next appointment for the club is massive. But yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm trying to get to 1.2k subscribers as soon as possible. So if you could help me get there, I'd really appreciate it. Also, leave post notifications on when you subscribe so you're notified every time I upload a video. Also, leave your thoughts on today's news and up the saddlers.